That's all it is. That's all, That's it, all is. it is. That way she, you know what I'm saying? She knows. Yeah. You know? And 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 when you see them go ahead and 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 just coat the finger because you know they're about to just slick that thing up. <laughs> and they're reaching out. I actually oh, don't know. Oh, I don't know that one. You don't know what I'm talking about? And not the finger coat because she's <laughs> yeah, about to slick my yeah, nipple. Yeah, yeah. He's lying. He's lying, don't, don't touch my nipple. He, what? <laughs> don't touch my nipple. Don't touch what? <laughs> nah, that is not. You don't feel all right. Let me ask you something. Don't you're... don't start getting all crazy. <laughs> And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I shouldn't say that we're back because we never left. This is the baddest podcast in the land, Steak and Sauce Podcast, episode 29. I am one-fourth of the four horsemen that are here. We only got three here today. You already know my name. They call me King Koopa Nowen. Across the table, we have Mr. Preston Eller, the landowner. Yes, sir. He yes, just sir. acquired more land. Just got it. Just got it. Uh, he likes to use the term boy. We're, we've coined that. We only let him say it here on the show and outside in the parking lot. That's it. We also, to the right, <laughs> we got my man with the plan. He is the genius behind the show. Give it up for Weston one time. Thank you. Thank you. He's mic'd up today. Weston is down from 235 to 180. Like 185. 185. He's looking slim and trim. Uh, don't bring your girl around him. I'm telling you right now, because <laughs> he will take her. Boy. <laughs> Tonio couldn't be here today, but we're going to give it up for him anyway. His daughter has a pretty cool volleyball game or tournament going on. So shout out to them. We hope she does good. Mackenzie, give them hell, girl. Also, put that burger down. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you can be included on all of our new episodes. And make sure that you stay tuned because we got some great stuff coming up. We want to thank God, too, for these blessings, for being able to do this, for our creativity, for the outlets, for the people that we've been introduced to, and just for all the blessings, just being here today, being alive and being healthy. So we want to do that as well. I was thinking this week that um, if I became a chiropractor, how long do you guys think that I would stay employed before I got a complaint filed on me. Two days. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> Two the days. first woman in that place with yoga pants on. Yes. <laughs> Two, <laughs> That's it. That's it. Gone. Two days. Weston. I was going to say... Like two hours. Two hours. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have no faith in me, right? Nah, you would be leaning all up on her. Right. <laughs> so I thought about it in my head. Like, I watch all these chiropractor adjustments, right? And I see these chiropractors, and a couple of them I follow, Dr. Brett Jones on YouTube, very high profile. Mm -hmm. You know, he's into like spirituality. Did I say that right? Spirit spirituality? Yeah. He's into different stuff that he combines into the methods and practices of uh, chiropractic. And um, he is big on grounding. He's big on a diet and a lifestyle and things like that included with the adjustments. But some of the women that come into these offices, goodness gracious, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no so clothes I, on. Yeah, pretty much. Like you came to get an adjustment with no draws? Like, okay, you're going to get two adjustments. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm going to adjust that C2, and then I'm going to get that L3. You know what I'm saying? That little lumbar. Ugh. I just see myself making these adjustments on them and getting real into it. And they're just, you know, they always got their methods. Go ahead and cross your arms for yep. me. Go ahead and swing your leg over. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just, just get this working right here. Just get it going. And then the camera zooms in tight on my face, and I'm just... And she's like, are you going to do it? You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna make it? And I'm screaming louder than they are making the adjustments. Yeah. I'd want to edit the video where it's like six or seven different videos. Like, Ugh, oh, Ugh, and I'm like grunting on each one. That I made the adjustment. And the last video would be me making an adjustment, be real long. And I'd go, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, done. I'm sweating. And then the video cut. So. I'm glad y'all think that I could at least make it two days. Max. 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 Two days max, two hours, whatever it may be. <laughs> First girl with Lululemons on. Lu oh, goodness gracious. You're done. 
I'm done. Or the thick band like underwear, what they wear with yeah. the thick band at the <laughs> yeah. top. I don't know what it is, fellas, but that thick band drives me absolutely <laughs> nuts. It's like a banjo. I just want to pull the string, just bang, just let it go. Does anybody else like the thick band underwear on a girl? For it's sure. pretty, it's it's pretty. Oh man, it just tears me up. How's y'all's week been though? Good. Great. You got a lot of yeah. stuff going on. A lot, a lot of stuff, but it's it's cooling. It's cooling. A lot of moving pieces. Yep. Um, we were we gathered all the boys together. We helped you kind of get uh, you guys removed from one house to another. Yep. Uh, a lot of moving pieces. We had like a three leg move in this move. Uh, you know, from Texas to here, from one house to the other yep. house. So yep. it was terrible. I, terrible. It was terrible. a lot of stuff going on. Yep. And you know what? Not even to be all funny and stuff like that. I commend you, bro. Because when I was there, you had a lot of people looking to you for direction. Yeah. You couldn't just walk away from that situation. Like, you couldn't be like, I'm tired. I don't feel like moving anymore tonight. Your parents were looking to you to get, me and you were loading trailers. You know, I felt like John Dutton. I was loading trailers. The only thing I didn't (laughs) have was some horses. But I was hooking up trailers, hooking up hitches, and hitting ditches. We had Rangers F-150s. We had had F-150s and big old titties. We had it all. (laughs) <laughs> and we were moving, and we were just, and we were out there. We were physical. We were getting shit done. And I went home that night because I had to go to work. And I thought to myself, I kind of felt bad for leaving you, but I was like, you know what? I commend him as a man because even in that situation where you were totally frustrated, tired, like it seems like it's never ending, that was something you just couldn't walk away from. No. Nah, you couldn't yeah. be like, you know what? I'm going to Derek's. No. Nah. Yeah. Peace. You know what I'm saying? Like I appreciate that. You I had really to do. stay there and you had to you had to not only grind it out for yourself because you knew everything you had to do, you got, you know, you got your significant other. She's looking to you for direction. Yeah. Your parents are like, hey, this is heavy stuff. We need a couple of your buddies to come over. Yeah. Shout out to all the homies that came over yeah. and helped, by the way. Really appreciate really that. Really appreciate everybody's help. But you know, I just thought about that. So I just wanted to let you know that. I appreciate that. I hadn't had really. a chance to tell you that. Weston, how's everything going for you? <laughs> Uh, give me two weeks. Two weeks and, and then be, we'll know? And I'll be good. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. It's real, real stressful right now. So. Gotcha, got real stressful. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, During the week, as we know, not only am I thinking about funny stuff to say on stage, but I'm coming up with some jingles and different stuff. So today I went by McDonald's. Now, Steak and Sauce family, Preston loves these little things, okay? <laughs> Tell them about your love for McDoubles. All right, man. The McDoubles. Right, well, the best bang for your buck. Best bang for the buck. Because you get, you go in, yeah. you get two McDoubles, yes. a McChicken. A McChicken. You get the BOGO with what, that. What's a BOGO? Buy one, get, get one? one. It, okay. it, the coupon automatically adds. So you get four sandwiches. You get three. Three sandwiches. And then it's like 618. 618? McChicken, two McDoubles. For 22 McChickens <laughs> and eight McDoubles, you paid 618, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's the I'm best go, way to do it. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. He only got me one. No, I got I him two. No, 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 it's no, no, a no, damn no, no, no. lie. Steak and sauce family. I got him two. It's just that he engulfed one <laughs> before we turned the cameras off. So he did, you know what I'm saying? He put the burger all the way in his mouth and pulled it out dry. <laughs> okay? I'm just letting y'all know he did that before. My hands are bigger than this. Yeah, but. The, all right. Let's feel the weight on this. The, it's about two. Two grams? A little two. Okay. Maybe a little bit heavier than that. I don't know my, you know. I don't really know. I yeah. can never. I've never been good I don't at like know the breakdown. Like the, they always said, those bars that you bench press with are forty five. Forty five pounds. There's no. There's no <laughs> way. Uh, maybe that's why that I got in trouble that one time because I spent my re up on Christmas sweaters. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to do something else with that money. But we got a little bit of cheese in the middle, y'all. Uh, I got mine plain. Um, there's been a lot of studies where people have put these under like a glass. Look at, look at Weston. He's like, absolutely not. People put these under like a little <laughs> glass container and left them for years, right? The burger didn't go anywhere. It didn't decompose. It didn't rot. It didn't. So y'all let me know what this is, okay? We're going to try it, though. I don't care what it is. I'm going to eat it every day. That's a little cheesy now. That's a little cheesy. I, it's seasoned. There ain't a lot going on right here, but it is seasoned. Um, it's not bad. When I was in high school, they had deals on McDoubles. It was crazy. Had a lot of stuff going on. 
McDonald's had a burger called a Big and Tasty. You remember that? I don't remember that, but I've heard of it. Okay. Shout out to my boy Terrell. We would eat those by the dozens. After football practice, you know what I'm saying? One day Terrell was eating one. He started hitting his chest. He was like, oh. He's like, I got to give this up. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I was like, you know what? And we cut him from that day. What was so good about him? The big, I don't know, man. It was just like the Big and Tasties was a little bit uh, thicker patty than what comes on these. It was like a quarter pounder patty. And McDonald's only ran it for a little bit. Shout out to the McRib, by the way, McDonald's. Y'all give us a deal because my dad loves the Mc. He does. The McRibs. He <laughs> and it's not even a rib. It's not rib meat, I'm telling you. No rib meat is gray. No. That rib meat on those Mc... And my mom makes fun. She calls them a McWib, not a McRib. If you wipe off the barbecue sauce, sauce it's, it's gray. gray. Yeah. Why is it gray? And it's only this big. Like, it's that thick. That thick? Well, they put, like, lettuce and pickle on there. I don't know. Get you a McDouble. You'll stay out of trouble. Have your baby mama go get a couple, and she'll let me rub that bubble. You feel me? <laughs> That's the jingle. McDonald's, we here. We're waiting on you. Please. 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 I don't think this is bad. I'm going to go in for another one. I'm already done. You're done? I got food in my mouth. I don't think this is bad. McDonald's is not somewhere that I go when I'm hungry. And I'm a big dude. We know what you like. What do I like? That mercury. Ooh. Tell that them long about it. John that long Silvers. John's paws. <laughs> okay. We like the mercury. Weston, where did, now Weston's been cooking a lot of his meals at home. He's been doing good. If you were to grab something while you were out, where are you getting it from? Um, for all my cheat days. Uh, I don't know. It's usually like Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, Chipotle. Mm. Chipotle, yeah, Chipotle, that, definitely. <laughs> Uh, maybe Panera. Okay. Yep. Panera's all right. I like Panera. Chick-fil-A, fire. Let's talk about that for a second, okay? There are people going to hang me for this, and I know it. Chick-fil-A is mid as fuck on all levels. Chick-fil-A is so mid that I pass it on purpose just to go somewhere else. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> You're silly. Yes. Chick-fil-A is mid AF. It's always been mid. The but only you're going to say Popeye's is better. I'll go to Popeye's. The chicken sandwich. I'm not talking about the menu. My bad. Let me clarify that. Okay. Let's not talk. Okay. The chicken sandwich. The sandwich Just is trash. trash. The Popeye's sandwich or the Chick-fil-A? Popeye's sandwich, one of the main ingredients in it is bleach. <laughs> so we can exclude <laughs> that right there. Well, it makes okay. it. <laughs> Bro, you get the Chick-fil-A sandwich. Yeah. You know, it's like actual piece of breast, like chicken breast. You know, it's like thick chicken meat. I got a Popeye sandwich the other day. Pause on that. I got a Popeye thick sandwich the other day. Chicken meat. It had. I had a full bite of gristle. <laughs> just gristle. <laughs> just that. just disgusting. There wasn't a bit of chicken in it. Okay, so, and it was good. Pop. Let me say these two things because like, you know me, I'll go left. Popeyes used to be good when they had the loaded chicken wraps. That was a chicken tender. On a tortilla with dirty rice, refried beans. It was amazing. They discontinued it. I don't know why. Y'all holler at me. Um, when I go to Chick-fil-A, the best thing about Chick-fil-A is feeling like royalty. The people that work for Chick-fil-A care more about me than my own family. Okay? They, they, they ask really me, do. is my light bill paid? If yeah. it's not, they have a free card. I can put my light bill on their card. <laughs> Compliments of the company. Um, there's women there like, hey, do you have a girlfriend? I'm like, no, nah, I'm just chilling. Hey, Susan's free. Go get her number yep. in the drive-thru, yep. right? They'll let you schedule a hair, uh, get your hair cut. By the time you get to the front of Chick-fil-A line, the only thing you're waiting on is a hand job. I mean, everything else is done. And they're saying, my pleasure, my pleasure. No, it's been my pleasure. Yeah. Okay. You the don't owe me reason, nothing. The, no, you don't owe me nothing. The only reason people eat Chick-fil-A is for the hype. I challenge everyone, go to Chick-fil-A, even Weston shaking his head, go to Chick-fil-A, get one of those mid-chicken sandwiches, put nothing on it, no condiments, and tell me that that's a good chicken sandwich. I already do. Bread and chicken? 
That's good. Where are y'all from? <laughs> like, what is going on? Right now? I mean, you definitely got the cheese on there. No, 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 no. But Nothing that's going to enhance it. Take that basic big booty Judy chicken, and you know that's all still. Where are they get the same? The same piece of chicken comes out on every sandwich. <laughs> where are they getting this from? All right. Well, I know you're you're a Texas person. I've, I've lived in Texas for a long time. Besides their chicken fast food, yes. What do you got? There's nowhere else that's better than Chick Fil A. Oh God! Well, if you go to Texas, not in Texas, not in okay. Texas. Okay, I was because I mean you're going obviously. There's like five <laughs> chicken. Bush's <laughs> chicken, baby. Yeah. I Bush's went down there. Ridiculous. I went down there for four days and didn't have time to eat at the, all the fast food restaurants. Yes, because there's so many. Yeah, different it, ones. It, it, it's it's almost overwhelming. It is because it is. you don't know what you want to eat. Because I've never seen them. No. So I got to try. I got to try In and Out. Yes, you got to. And I gotta try um, Water Burger. Water Burger. Yep. I gotta try so that's that's like burger places. Right. I didn't I ate all the burger fast food, but I didn't eat no chicken. Right. I didn't have time. And then you got all these chicken plates. You got bushes, you got Yeah. Uh, uh what's that one? Um Canes. Canes. Yeah, Canes. You're raising Canes. You got all these different places that are we don't get a chance to go to around here. No. It's just it's ridiculous. But I'm telling y'all right now, even though Weston likes it, he likes his chicken sandwiches dry. Because, you know, the condiments add a lot of calories in it. You know what I'm saying? And we're talking about, you know, portion control. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we need to apply that to everything. You know? Some of these labels, if you read it, you'd be real pissed off. Because I'm pretty sure I ate 67 almonds the other morning, right? <laughs> that's, that's way more than the portion of almond says on the thing. Right? But I was just, just scuffing them down. Chick-fil-A's mid. The fries are good. Great. Fries are good. And that lemonade drink with the vanilla ice cream and the lemonade in it, boy, that thing's so creamy at the top. I had a whole ring around the front of my pants one time. <laughs> I just pulled over and just stuffed that cup. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Donald Duck brushing his teeth. You know what I'm saying? I was just getting it. And the lady said, you ain't supposed to do that. And I said, you mind your damn business, you know? <laughs> I already paid for this. Throughout the week, that we can get slumped, we can get in a bad spot. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and find some videos that I find that are funny. We'll pull those up right quick. I'll get your reaction, Preston P. Dog. See what you think about it. Now, this oh, is. This is a new, this <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know this was you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. this. I wish Tony was here. This is his favorite video of all time. They went to this man's house. He came out in full ninja suit and whooped everybody's ass. Beat everybody. He's part of Wu-Tang. Look at it. He's part of Wu-Tang. Look. Wow. God. Front kick straight to the head. Bro, they are laying him. Wow. Bro, he charged everybody, bro. I don't know what I know that hurts. Is. It hurts. I know it hurts. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, look. Bro, he's 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 just scowling up. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he bro. <laughs> he Are those jump kick off of that? There, there's 30 officers out there. Look. <laughs> Let me out of these straps. Oh, fuck you up. That's what he said. Bro, they could not handle him, bro. He had numb chucks, but he threw him down. He yeah. told him, look, I'll take y'all without these, bro. I don't need them. <laughs> Bro, he just got. There's an what? energy that there's just came energy. into him. Yeah, he, he channeled his energy just right there. How much of a G do you have to be to charge thirty officers? Do you see how many? Those are paintball guns. Yeah. These are pa have you ever played up. paintball? Are, yes. It okay. Hurts. And they they speed test the ball before you go in the course, right? So to make sure your gas levels yeah, down, not. because your gas, you know, the more pressure you got, right, the harder that ball is going to shoot. So I know those paintball guns are turned to the max. Turned to the max, yeah. They're trying to, but my whole thing is, Weston, why did they have that many cops there for one man? What, 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 what was called? What, yeah, doing? what was he doing? What was he doing? They got guys in the back, but they don't even want to come up. And he took it to the street and was still fighting. Let's roll the next one. He's a G. He's a legend. Boy, just warmed my heart. Look at little man. Anybody that's got a zero turn to loves and mow grass like I do, you understand this. Look, he even turned it down, safety first. 
Watch. Dude, okay. I'm gonna blow all this crap <laughs> off. Bro, little man is a tuck. <laughs> I think he's about to push him away. Bro, little man is a G. Some of y'all 38 years old right now, and that man's out working y'all right now. They don't even know how to cut a mower Dolly on. Don't not to cut it on. <laughs> <laughs> he blowing everything but the porch. I commend him though. This warmed my heart, man. When I saw this, I was like, you know what? This is absolutely great. Like, 100 percent The way he pulled up on that zero turn so slow. Bro. Dialed Said it back. I try to I try to keep PPE on him. Yeah, I got PPE, got the headphone, he got the ear protection, eye protection. He done saw his daddy mowing shorts. So that's that's a, what I mean. Yeah, he said he's been around the equipment his whole life. Can you read that? Okay. Mostly lap drum. So they let him practice on it. Gotcha. And then got him to understand the controls. Yeah. Four years old though is crazy. Four years old is nuts. That's nuts. And he's doing it by himself. Yeah. No, nobody's like on the mower. I, they had to rig that seat up. See, yeah, yeah. Because so it's he too can light. Get, he can get the, yeah. That's awesome. Though. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's run the next one. <laughs> Where's Antonio at? Nah, I, sometimes it be like that. No, it does. Yes, it does. No, it does. I've gotten in some stuff before, and I sounded just like this. Holy mother of God! <laughs> that thing be hot. Holy mother of God! No, A lot of guys no. be afraid to moan. <laughs> you and Weston may judge me for this. But I am not afraid. I wish Antonio was sitting. I wish, and I just wish. howl like the like a wolf at the moon. <laughs> just it just crawls up your back. <laughs> you sounded just like this two nights ago. No, I did not. <laughs> Nothing like I would never make a noise like You'll that. You never make a noise like that. When he's real hot. When he's, <laughs> that's when it's hot. That that that's thing raw. is raw. Meat to meat. That thing is at the level of molten lava. Yeah, just that's how just hot straight that thing is. shots. Just no shots only. <laughs> that's how hot it is. All right, let's run to the next one. This dude. Right now, I want to share with you what you do when you're surrounded by multiple aggressors. And last time we showed you what to do about going in a circle. This is the other part that goes with that. And that is you actually attack the attackers. <laughs> no shot. Bro, someone with a piece to back of his head. Every video he got that uh, that he has that they show like the scenes, yeah. bro, he's, they're all slow. Like, look at training. the guys in the back. Those are the guys. Yeah, they're waiting. They're waiting to get hit. They're waiting. Waiting. They're they're waiting to get hit. And like, last time we showed you, Wes, how effective is this? Watch it. And that is you actually not at all. Watch those guys in the back. They're just standing there. Wait, he's got a helmet on. Look, get off his eyes. Look, he didn't even hit him. He fell. Look. Bro, it's those three guys in real life with a piece the back of his head, they would have been, he'd been done. They would have knocked the sonic it's rings out of his yeah. ass. They'd have popped them and went, dang, 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 dang. rings would have went everywhere. The dude well, in the back with the, with the uh, helmet on, and he falls to the ground without even being touched. Now watch it again and tell me when he engages the guy with the helmet. Nope. Nope. Not yet. Nope. That guy. Look at the dude in the helmet. Where's he at? On the ground, <laughs> he never touched it. He never touched it one time. Six nine. If you would have been what, if you had have watched this, you would have fared a little Detroit bit better in that bathroom. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah even straight. You. Yeah. What you if do six when nine would have took a class here, and last time he might have been all right. By going in a circle, yeah. this is the <laughs> what is on his wrist? What is that device? That's a huge watch. That's a big face. That's a big face watch. Look at him. Go down. Look. Ah, ah. Now, I've been around a lot of martial and arts, right? And knees of the attackers. I've done MMA. I've wrestled. I've done grappling, boxing. This is about the most Detroit realistic fighting training. you're ever going to see. Share with you. If you, you want to survive out here in these streets, don't and last take time advice you from me. Take advice circle, from this guy. This is the guy. Yes. This is the guy. Let's just watch it one more time. 
Ugh. Get off. Ugh. Watch him. Like, grab the eyes. Grab the eyes. Yeah, get out. Ugh. Knee high. This is how you used to fight your friends in middle school. Yes. Like you would you just the grab them. Just grab them. Yeah. They would fall. The yeah. And then you get mad if they you didn't fall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Dan Bilzerian. This intelligent option. Dan Bilzerian. This intelligent option. Detroit will come training. You see what Dan said? No. He said you could have saved six. He could have saved six. Day two late, he could have saved six nine. He could have saved six nine. This is not funny about what happened to six nine, but ladies and gentlemen, if you watch the video with six nine in it, you will then know that you need to take a class. Like that one. Yes. That one. Detroit Urban Survival Tactics, okay? You need to be ready. That way you're not getting pummeled in the bathroom at a LA Fitness. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you right now. If three dudes jump on me like that, y'all, I'm listen, I'm not the baddest man in the world, but everybody knows how I get down. If three dudes jump on me like that, they'd have to close LA Fitness for two weeks. Cause I'm airing it <laughs> out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting hit. I'm like not, that. No, you are not doing that to me. I am airing it out. Every stall would have had a hole in it. The sinks would be busted, glass. People would have got shot in their ass. I'm telling you, I'd have aired it out. Bro, that was terrible. That was a life and death situation. I watched that, and I literally cringed because they could have killed that boy, man. They could have killed him. It, it, like, hurts to watch. When he stomped his ribs at the end, anybody that does something to you and makes you rock back and forth and hold and kick your feet like that, that's pain. Yeah, yeah. That is legit pain. That's a whole nother level of pain. That's just. He's, ugh. Yeah, he, he was, was just like. Ugh. He was on this side. I didn't mean to laugh, but the no, that, way. That, that hurt. Like, it hurt you. Like, to watch that. Yes. I could imagine. They got on him bad. So, I was watching DJ Academics. Y'all know DJ Ac Academics? Yeah. So, he has a little bit of beef going on right now because he says that Drake J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar only take, if any, high-profile interviews, and they don't get back to their roots of where they used to start, like, original, like, grassroots hip-hop outlets for, like, interviews, uh, the latest updates, media, even, like, his platform. DJ Academics is very controversial, and I believe that he puts himself in certain situations sometimes. But he doesn't understand the lifestyle that's on the other side of this, too. So J. Cole recently took an interview, and it was with ESPN's Bob Myers. And J. Cole was on there, and DJ Academics was saying that it was weird. Uh, you know, J. Cole has turned down bigger platforms, right? Like he, well, not that he's turned it down, but J. Cole hasn't been on Million Dollars Worth of Game. He hasn't been on Drink Champs. Some of these, you know, podcasts and platforms that are really, really big. So DJ Academics was like, look, man. Why do these prominent hip hop figures get to a certain level to where they're not coming back anymore and starting off on some of the platforms that got them or helped them get to where they're at? So, how do y'all feel about some of y'all's favorite artists or if they are hip hop artists? Do you feel like you get to a certain level to where the more exclusive you are, the more hidden you are, add some hysteria to you? I think it's a lot of like what they're trained. What's that called? Uh, when you when you become like when you get on TV and you're like a fan sport, you gotta get trained. What's it? Um, trained like, in like, or like PR training. PR, PR training. training. Okay. Yeah, I think you know PR training, and they're like their managers are the ones that don't let them do that stuff. Okay. Because you know when they sign these contracts, they they lose everything. Right. That's now, why a lot of guys are going. You know, independent. Independent. Indy. Now is Jake Jake holds indie, right? Yeah. Okay, he's independent. Now, for like him, I, that was for like a lot of guys. Right. Now, you know, is Kendrick Indy? I don't know. I know all of no, them. No, he's with uh, the same one as uh, uh, SZA. SZA, okay. Who's that? That's um, huge. Now, did he? Now, I know Kendrick's got TDE, right? J. Cole has a lot of people up under him, right? And I forget what that group is called. Um, Drake has OVO. Right, so a lot of these bigger guys have they have artists, yeah, they have artists. Yeah. They got a lot of stuff going on up under them, and I feel like he was basically saying, like, you know, these guys are not getting back to his beef. Was like, y'all take these high profile or 
why would he take an ESPN interview? Probably because J. Cole has an entire other bag that he can get into because the man can really play. Yeah, yeah. He played for uh, a one league. Uh, overseas. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he can – he can if yeah, he wants yeah. to. Weston, how you feel about it? None of my business. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like some of these are when, like some of our top artists. It'd be like us reaching out to one of these guys and saying, hey, we are fans. We've gotten every album. Well, they would never. They would never, right? No. That, and they, what would be crazy right. is that would change all four of our lives if, if they, Drake sat right there. If Drake sat right here. But he would never do that. We don't know, Drake. Well, we don't know. Drake. But... The idea of, of DJ Academics is right. he would never do that. Right. But right. that would change uh, would change our lives. A whole thing. That would yeah. change the whole thing. Yeah. Because I would literally want to sit down with them and be like, okay, take care album. Walk me through. Yeah. Where did you come up with the samples? 40 was helping you. I just want to pick his brain about music choices, putting the album together. Where's he getting these samples from? Inspiration. I just want to go through the process. We, could, I'm we a music could ask head. him. We yeah. might. The only thing that I can think of of why they wouldn't want to do that is because if they do it for one guy, they got to do it for everyone. Okay. And you know how many smaller platforms there are right. versus bigger yeah, platforms? Yeah, true. I mean, yeah. that is true. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of as to why. They would They would have to, at that point, it would be a floodgate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Floodgate yeah. would open up. It would be so many people hitting the I definitely the see and want, that. You know, yeah, I definitely see that. Want to do that. But you know what I'm saying? J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, this is Steak and Sauce Podcast, the baddest podcast in the land. We're trying to expand. So if you want to come over here and talk to some real music heads, ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes. This this show would have would be the biggest <laughs> show on YouTube. <laughs> come sit down and talk to us. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out what it's like in Houston. Could you imagine typing that name in the caption, bro? Episode twenty three or twenty eight, twenty nine. Episode Drake. thirty. At episode thirty, Drake. Drake. Drizzy. Bro. Now a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna be like, "Oh, you like Drake? You like Drake?" Listen, I'm a grown man. I like what I like. I also like the Backstreet Boys. Does that make me any less tough? No, it don't. I love the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys, Black and Blue album, classic. Shout out to Morgan. She knows. If they graced us on this show, what would you ask him? What would I ask What Drake? would you ask Drake if he came on this show? What was it like working with Lil Wayne from the beginning? Goodness gracious. That would be what's crazy. Because Goodness that's when gracious, you got yes. a guy, you know, becoming the biggest in the in that land right. in the hip hop community and you are young you just came off a mediocre TV show right the grassy and you got Lil Wayne as you're like Shoot telling you what to do on the side. Yeah. you know and he's and he's grooming you can you imagine getting that phone call like Drake talks about in the song getting that phone call a lot of people and I feel like we've gone through that there's a lot of people that wasn't on board with us because they thought we was going to be like a quick one, two episode thing. They didn't realize we dug our feet in. They didn't realize we're here for the long haul. You know, a lot of people are not going to congratulate you until it's already built. But they didn't see the process of getting it there, you know? No, they don't They don't see like the Basement Boys. They didn't see Basement Boys. Shot they never, they might never even seen the video. Maybe some of the funniest ones. Yeah. You know? By far. Right. And what made me love it. <laughs> and that's where we started. Yeah. You know, and I feel like, imagine getting that call from Lil Wayne, because I'm going to tell y'all right now, Lil Wayne music catalog is legendary status. When I was in Iraq in 2005, 2006, I was listening to the dedication part one and two. Those two mixtapes right there are arguably some of the best I've ever heard. Now, People are going to say, uh, sorry for the wait, the drought, all yeah, those. Yeah. I got it. But if you go back and you listen to Dedication 1 and 2, goodness gracious. So I couldn't imagine getting that call from Wayne. And I'm Drake. And I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm front and I'm doing everything I can to make it. And he tells me, come on. Come on. And then you become bigger. And then you. You become a top three Billboard artist. Of all time. Yeah. How, I mean, what? What's How do you even do what that? What are the odds yeah, of that, yeah, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even. Drake could literally endorse one of his friends every week and put them at a level to where they are the top trending thing in the U.S. In the U.S. that day. He could or that them. week, and, yeah, and yeah. Once a week, he could do that. Yeah. He, he could, could come. Go, hey. He could come here. Yeah. We would be number one yes. on a platform. Yes. 
then he could go over to, you know, uh, Billy Joe's over here right. and get on his and podcast. And same thing. Same thing. It's just because of the name, just what he carries. Why do you think Wes and Moore celebrities don't do that? Like, if I was at that status, I would boost somebody else for the entire week. I'd say, hey, this is my boy Preston. Go subscribe, go like, get him up, raise it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do they not do that? Well, I know, like, well, I mean, yeah, go ahead on your list. Yeah. So, like, if you go on, like, someone's smallest podcast, yeah. right, how, how long have they been doing it? Because they're super small. And you're a big name celebrity. They can ask you some wild shit because they did. They don't. <laughs> yeah. They don't have. Yeah, they like don't have the training. Po- yeah, they don't have yeah. like the podcast etiquette that you build up over the years right. and stuff like that. Right. I mean, it it goes both ways. Right. Right. But and I if mean, they ask you something, you know, we don't get into certain stuff here. We don't. So imagine you got someone like Drake, and we ask him something simple, political stuff we don't get into, and he answers. He could lose half his fan base and meet overnight. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So I see what you... That's a good point, Wes. Yeah. yeah. that's a very good point. You know? Yeah. That... I didn't that's, think about that's that. That's from, like, a PR's perspective. Of PR, like, right. me, like, if I was, like, thinking about, like, sending you to someone else's podcast, that's what I would be thinking about, right? Right. It's like, well, how big are they? Are they going to ask you something crazy, or is they going to keep it chill? Like, that's what I'd be thinking about. Do you eat ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's coming out. And see, that's... Somebody's going to say that. And we, we're good here. We're good. Because anywhere that Derek goes, they're never going to be as bad as this place. <laughs> this place is terrible. This is <laughs> this is grimy. You know what I'm saying? Masturbation dungeon type dungeon stuff. Time. Over here. You know what I'm saying? Neck tied, choking, and shrinking. Yeah, you know what I'm like saying? nipple yeah. squeeze. Oh, got to. That, that, you can't. That is a personal request of mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the act, can you please apply a little bit of pressure to the right one? Counterclockwise on the left one. Oh God! You know Jesus. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I need that. That gets- see, that's what I'm saying. You could go anywhere. We could if we blew up tonight. Yes. And we had 10 million followers on YouTube. Yes. Subscribers. If we if you went somewhere else, it would be okay. They would never <laughs> ask you something that you haven't said already. Right. You couldn't yeah. ask me something we haven't already nah, talked about. No. Nah. Well, you suck toes. Right. Just just play devil's advocate to that. If we do. You know, I'm not worried about what the questions I ask you, right. but you also have to look at what kind of reputation do they have? Mm-hmm. Are they bad shit crazy to a lot of people? Right. Do you want that associated with your brand? That's a fact. That's true. That's, yeah, that's thing true. Too. Because you made a good point. You can associate yourself with somebody that's very controversial. Mm-hmm. That is, you know what I'm saying? Even our, look, at, look at some of our presidents. Some of their affiliations at the highest level Got them under the microscope very, very quickly, mm-hmm. right? Because people dig that up. Yeah, you know, and look at celebrities every day. Every day, they, they you know, they, what I'm oh, they posted a picture with you know one of the most like somebody did something bad, right? Five years ago, right? They'll lose people because they didn't like the person they posted a picture with. Facts. I, or, yeah, that's true. You know, so very good point, Wes. That is yeah, a good point. Very good point. Very good point. I think that people on this show organically know. That I'm gonna say some crazy stuff. The your job is to figure out if it's true or not. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't don't take that trap. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't call him <laughs> on a Saturday. Your job <laughs> is to figure out: Am I running material on y'all, or is this real? You know what I'm saying? Because a little bit on the right, counterclockwise or clockwise on the left, it just depends what I need. That is like taking. That's like launching a demon, right? <laughs> <laughs> you launch a demon, 0 to 60, 1.6 seconds, I think. That's going to get me there. You know what I'm saying? It's game. It's game over. I'm not afraid to tell, hey, sweetheart, this is what I need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all got to get to that comfortability level. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to be able to let Your her know. problem is you're telling her that at dinner the first <laughs> time y'all see each other. <laughs> You don't even get three or four in. You just hit the first night. Hey, uh, she'd like a water. And by the way, I like my nipples playing. <laughs> <laughs> right at the dinner table. That's all it is. That's all, That's it, all is. it is. That way she, you know what I'm saying? She knows. Yeah. You know? And 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 when you see them go ahead and 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 just coat the finger, because you know they're about to just slick that thing up. <laughs> and they're reaching out. I actually oh, don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know oh, that oh, way. Oh, 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 oh. You don't know what I'm talking about? And not the finger coat because she's <laughs> yeah, about to yeah, slick my yeah, nipple. Yeah. He's lying. 
He's lying, Wesson. Don't, don't touch my nipples. He, what? <laughs> don't touch my nipples. Don't touch... What? <laughs> nah, that is not... You don't feel... All right, let me ask you something. Don't, don't start getting all <laughs> yeah. crazy. You're pretty reserved, right? As a man, you're pretty reserved. Unless me and you are talking offline. Oh, yeah. I'm not oh, going to go in here gonna and tell everybody. Here and say, I'm not like man. you. I don't give a damn. They know what I like. So if she, if somebody reached up and went to toggle your little, your little, uh, well, uh, mouse feet is what I call it. <laughs> mouse feet. <laughs> <laughs> Toggled your little mouse feet. I know they're the same color as my shirt on this screen. I know it. They're all pink. They're all pink. <laughs> <laughs> if, she, look at what, if she reached up to do that, what would you tell her? I mean, I don't really know exactly if you like yours, how you like yours, and I really don't want to get into it to understand what you're asking me. <laughs> I mean, don't squeeze my shit. Like, don't <laughs> hurt me. About, I'm not talking about like back in grade school. Where people would do yeah, it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about a sensual... I don't know. What if them glasses just blew the glass out of them? I take my glasses off. <laughs> oh, you don't leave your glasses on? <laughs> no. I don't need them every day. I don't need them. Like, I can you, see without them. What? Why would I wear them? You take your glasses off in the bedroom? Yeah, what do you need them off for? They're getting away. You're squinting ass. Dude, bitch. I can see without them. I don't. I don't take. I, all right, do me a favor. Take them off right now. Oh, it's a completely different person. Yeah, it is, but I don't need them. You don't need them, just so you can line everything up without these glasses. Yeah, on. They're, you're blurry. I have astigmatism. I don't have like <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I don't need like the the four person. inch the four inch band, the lens. You went from hey, I make beats for Drake. <laughs> two, two. I'm on a church softball league in like two seconds. <laughs> I know. I like them. You, I, I like them. Right. right. I had now? to. Get, I had contacts before. Okay. It's it's literally just like corrective gotcha. for the stigmatism, but that's it. Now is this a process where like? Because look at Weston. He's already like. Is this a process where like you're sitting in bed? You know it's that time. Do you take them off and fold them up and set them on the nightstand? No, nah, I'm not like a dad or something. <laughs> I know I don't set them on like my CPAP machine and like yes. you know, Hang on, them, I, I put them in the case in on the top case of the CPAP. Yeah. And then, you know, you got and your, the towel on the nightstand. You got your boxers up to your navel. Yeah, no, nah, nah, I ain't nah, like nah, that. No, nah, okay. nah, they've been off. Yeah, they've, they've already been off. I usually every time I go to bed, I, like when I lay in the room. Yeah, unless I'm watching TV, I take them off. Okay, if I'm on my phone, I don't need them. You know, this is new. This is new. I didn't know this. See what you find out when you ask? Yeah. I mean, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. In my mind, not that I should be thinking about you having sex. Yeah, no, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Pause on that. Pause. Pause on that. But every time that I do, I just imagine, like, your head right above, like, the headboard, glasses fogged completely. I don't know. You're red as <laughs> shit, and you're <laughs> just like, Ugh, like, what a walrus would sound like when it just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like if I was stuck, nah, nah, if I'm nah. going 60 miles an hour and I drop it in reverse on that truck, yeah, <laughs> that's what I, Bro, that I know the noise because when we brought it back that night, I was Derek, let me tell we, you we, tell we, we went and bought tell this Ranger, and Derek hasn't drove five speed since he was in since like, he was in Nam. Right, since I was <laughs> then, yeah. He's gonna drop it back two hours. Yeah, two hour trip. I haven't drove five speed in like years. Like my dad, shout out to my dad by the way. He took me uh, in a. I think I learned on a three speed on the column first manual, and then he put me on a hill and was like, "Get us off this hill." So everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. You put a kid on a hill with a manual. Yeah, you're and riding the clutch. You, you ain't moving yeah. nowhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Eating. And it's eating, and then you push the brake back in, you stop. You know, and he's trying to walk me through that. You know, so I've drove manual here and there. Me and Preston go down to South Carolina to get this truck that I needed, right? And I'm not a pro. No, I wasn't. It was South. It was dang on near South Carolina. Yeah, we it's drove. Close, yeah, yeah, we drove. But like, it wasn't. God, we're right it on was the border far by away. Top Golf. Yeah, it was that far away? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not a pro like, you know, Weston, he can drive for Formula One and you were on uh, Tokyo Drift. Like, I get it, right? <laughs> but we're driving, we're driving back. And for some reason, me, I didn't know that the truck did not like fifth gear. 
it has to be ramped up really, really fast for me to cruise in fifth. Yeah, it's real weird. It's real weird. Yeah. Fourth gear is my go-to, right? After 60 mile an hour, then I'll... I'll yeah, your go, fifth fine. is like purely interstate. Purely interstate. You do not get in. It'd be too... You had to full throttle it up pretty much. I've touched here. fifth gear twice this year. Yeah. You know? I'm coming out of fifth. Press the clutch. I drop it, right? Now, usually it just slides right into fourth. For some reason, I'm slamming it home reverse. Bro. <laughs> and I don't want y'all to think this is like downtown or somewhere where right. we're going slow. We are getting on the interstate. <laughs> I'm in his scat pack behind him. Yeah, yes. He's and in- I see reverse lights and I got the windows up, people. <laughs> I got the windows up and I hear this thing go. <laughs> <laughs> and I see reverse lights. <laughs> I call him. I say pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. We got to see what you broke. Weston, how bad is that? Is that bad? Yeah, that's pretty fucking bad. Uh, it was it was not good. But the funny thing is, Preston couldn't even hold it back because when he heard me do it, he was on the phone with his dad. Yeah. And Preston's already talking shit about me putting it into reverse because when I pulled up, Preston's in my car with his dad on Bluetooth, and his dad's like, he did what? <laughs> and it's loud as shit. <laughs> so I'm like, he already... And his dad's like, well, that ain't good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, mind you, I can drive five speed now. Now, you're great at it now. I'm great it is, at it now. You had a little rust. I had a little rust on me. A little rust. You know what I'm and saying? And you're in a very different type of fight. This, this is a 110 horsepower four five truck. Speed, four cylinder truck, truck right? Yeah, I mean, it's two door. I weigh more than the truck does, okay? It, yeah, it take you know, it, you got to get up real high in RPMs. and. But as far as the care that was paid to this truck. Oh, the truck is Immaculate. In. The guy, this guy that so, the guy that sold it to me, you he could was tell, in tears. Yeah, you could tell he was upset about something. He was he upset. really loved that truck. Yeah. He did not want to sell him that truck. Shout out to him, by the way. The only reason he sold me that truck is because he was going to CDL school. Mm-hmm. And the CDL school that he was going to, I can say this, he needed a bilingual CDL, CDL school, school, yeah. Which cost more. Well, yeah, which was and it was a lot more. A lot more. Yeah. His wife spoke English. She said, Listen, I'm gonna tell you how he's feeling. He, she's like, he's really bummed out, but he needs this money for school. And I was like, can you please tell him for me that when he graduates, he can get any truck he wants. Yeah. Big diesel, yeah. whatever, whatever he you want, wants. Man. Yeah. But I tell you right now, if you would have put a new 3500 next to that truck, he'd have took that truck back. I think he would, yeah. 100%. That's why I told you, once we noticed that there wasn't anything obviously wrong with it. Right. And we started to see his body language and how he was with it. Right. I was like, buy it. Buy it. Right. It, 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 was it worth checked it. out perfectly. Yeah. I trust you. All judgment. the small stuff was fine. No right. major rust. And, you know, he had painted the frame right. to keep it from rusting, which is a big red flag for anybody that knows, you know. Anybody that knows you got fresh black paint on a frame. You need to look really you need good to look at that real point. real close. Someone right? might be covering something up. Like my granddad said, rest in peace. You go to look at a car, you got to get on your hands and knees. You have to. You have to, right? Yeah. But this truck was immaculate. No rust on it. 1996 Mazda B2300 Four cylinder five speed. Yeah, I think it's a two three two. I don't. Two cylinder. Yeah, no, it's four cylinder. Four cylinder, I mean, like a two three or something. Right. Super small motor. Super small motor. I love this truck. It's great. I, <laughs> me and Derek getting that thing. <laughs> yeah. We look like we are. We, we are sitting like shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. We look like if we take a turn, it is going to explode. <laughs> Literally, the truck would explode. We hit a bump, and the truck goes to the left goes lane to the, left, to the right yeah. lane. The funny thing is, we're coming back, Weston. He's in an almost 500 horsepower car behind yeah. me, right? And he's like, "Yeah, just scoot up a little bit. Um, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm gonna follow you." I hear, <laughs> he is back there tagging my car out, like banging gears, like redlining, redlining it. And like I was like, I didn't know at first, or like after the trip, you had a couple teas one night. We were talking about driving other people's cars, right? Yeah. Out of nowhere, Preston goes to my brother, Jalen, I've pinged your shit, and Derek, I definitely pinged <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not scared to tell you. You heard me ping it. Like, out of nowhere, like, I drove the shit no, out of your car. If Weston gave me the keys to his car right now yeah, and didn't ride with me. Don't, like, don't and, do it. And don't doesn't do think it. I'm not going to dog the <laughs> piss out of this car, car. <laughs> for one pull. Right. You're silly. You're silly. I expect you to do the same in mine. Right. Weston, how you feel about that? Why would you want that me to? That's why I don't let anyone drive my car. Is that, exactly. Is that, is that no one, one drives, reason why you know, no, no one drives my car. No one drives my car. That's right. I've never drove your car. No one drives my car. But what is the difference between his Type R and a regular Civic if you don't hit the gas? So what's the point of me driving it? 
So you want to experience? I want to experience the Type R. Right. I'm not. What's a Type R got? Exactly. Right. What's the difference between my car and every other 335 on the road? 92. Yeah. Get on it. Bucko the other night pulled up, didn't he? Yeah, pulled up while we were sitting there. Yeah, single stage turbo. He said, I like your car. Awesome. He didn't say nothing about, you know? Yeah. It's an import thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's what German, German, German guy. German engineer. German guy. Right? Now, I will say, Preston's car is light. It is fast. You're running over 400 horses. Mm, right at it. Right at it in a light car. Yeah. Once you do the reduction on my car, what it's putting to the crank and to the wheel. Yeah, with the big trans in it. I'm it probably up a I'm lot. for something, right? Yeah. Low fours. Low fours. Because it's what like four eighty eight from the factory. Yeah. Yeah. So you take that with your power to weight ratio of how much weight that car is less than mine. Mm-hmm. And you have two comparable Very comparable, yeah. Very comparable yeah. cars, you know. Yeah. Um now. <laughs> what were you doing when we were driving back where you were like, hey, this is what I showed your brother to do with the the paddle shifters? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it was new to you. It this was, car new. was I didn't, new. I didn't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he doesn't know that. I didn't know this. So so all the Scat Pack guys, Hellcat guys, every time they drive by you, if you're looking at that car, they always, it's like, you know, that like slap yes, in yeah, the shift. Right. And you got to get it up there. You got to get it like five. What, what was it? Like five, six? 4,500 to five, I think. Yeah. Five, I had to show it. five grand. Pink it up to five grand. Yeah. And then you hit the, hit the shift. Hit the shift. Yeah. Now that's a Your dad. brother's a professional at it. My brother does it. Shout no, out to Jaybird. And that's your up shift. All right. My yeah. brother does it all the time. Every time he passes a Corolla, he does it. Right. That's it. Because he only yeah. races. Yeah. Only races. Camrys and Corollas. Yeah. We yeah. added Corollas to the list. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's yeah. You rev it up, rev it up to five grand, uh, and they just shift quick. They that's sh- what that's what makes those cars fun. And it sounds like it puts off a very distinct, very, very sound, very when you do that, right? Yeah. What I love to do in my car, and I'm sure Wes, I hear Wesson go down the street. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. You love that. It's a, yeah. absolutely amazing. Like that sounds amazing. What I like to do is I like to go down a hill in Blacksburg Main Street, shift over. Push it up twice. I get a low gear, two or one. Yeah, rev it a little bit. Let all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, I love it. It sounds like a gurgling monster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. But it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Like you love to downshift and like the blowback you get. Yeah, from your yeah, car. Yeah. Weston loves to hear whatever that is. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes you... Uh, it's certain people. I mean, not everybody likes that stuff. Right. But that's what makes you love, like, the car community, the car world. I literally downshifted going down through Blacksburg. This lady was standing outside of Mellow Mushroom. She had a pizza in a box to go. My car was like... Yeah. She grabbed a slice out, put it right on her cat. <laughs> oh, like, I saw her do it. Oh, she did. Yeah, she did. I saw her do it. She put the cheese on the cheese. You know what I'm saying? No, she did. My car made her take a slice of pizza out and just cup that muffin with it. No. Yes. I was by it's myself. It's not even a Hellcat. Nobody else seen it, but I'm telling you. Everybody knows. The scat packs are junk, according to every rapper <laughs> every in the rapper, world. Every rapper. Me and Derek will ride around in his scat. Yes. And it's just like, it's like we're getting shamed. <laughs> yes. Like, this car like, don't make almost five. Right. Like, it don't make almost five. Like, it don't horses. have a 6.4 in it. I got a 6.4 in my car, and people be like. Those ra- all the rappers are like, what, what do they say? Um, what, like, what's that fa- one we always say? Oh, we say, um. I mean the Hellcat. That's just a scat. Yeah, like that's a three uh, three ninety two. Yeah, that's the, a stolen. Yeah, <laughs> like what? <laughs> what? Can I get some credit? Uh, yeah, I really feel like I need to go. It's buy It's the same a, car. It's the same car. It's the same car, just a different drivetrain. I really feel like I need to go get a BMW or upgrade to a Civic Type R, R R R R R whatever they R R and R chicken. I'll paint extra R's on there. Yeah, and then I'll get respect. Something. Something. You gotta get like a Mercedes. BMW, a, J- a Japanese car, something, because Dodge cars are just... My car looks like a whole Megalodon out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And to somebody else... That has a Hellcat. That has a Hellcat, the Hellkeezy. It's game over. You got a, you got the biggest piece of junk <laughs> on the road. It's not even comparable to these guys. <laughs> it's not even comparable. That's what I tell them. You know what happens every time I'm in my little Ranger and I'm shifting gears... 
some backwoods fool off Robinson Track in Pulaski is in a 94 Mustang GT with hubcaps on it. <laughs> he blows past me so fast. The other night, flicked a cigarette on the hood of my car <laughs> and had that Mustang pinged out. I mean, I, it sounded like it was going to throw a rod straight through the hood. Yeah. He's laughing, like laughing. I was like, I wish I had time to go home, grab Meg, and pull it back out and bust your ass. <laughs> like, what What encourages people <laughs> to act like that? When, when have you ever called that car Meg? Her name is Meg. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know that right now. I was like, what is this dude what talking about? What is he talking about? about, right? Have you never heard that from me before? No, no. Meg. Her name is Meg. I'm calling it Meg. Short for Megalodon, right? Her name is Meg. You and, don't, uh, don't call this cat. Do, do We're going to have to debatch it. Yeah, I got to debatch so you don't get, it. So I get, don't respect. Get shit on <laughs> I get respect. Have you ever in your life seen a, a, a 6.4 liter motor like get absolutely dragged? Right. No. 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 It's not happening. Not happening. No. But anyway, let's talk about how much this year's March Madness, dude. I can't even. It's history. It's history. It's history. It's history. And it started with UNC. Oh, my God. This Jesus. year started. I wasn't even going to say it. Weston, I was going to talk about some other games. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I was going to talk about Oral Roberts. and you remember all, all that <laughs> smoke he said when <laughs> yeah. Dallas lost? And right. he was going to bowl. Right. No, UNC started history this year. Started history. And it's been game since. Every single game is something crazy. Let's talk about the Florida boys. FAU. Goodness gracious. Dude, three teams have never seen the Final Four or in the Final Four this year. You know how unlikely that is? Bro, we got to talk to Vegas. Something's going on. Yeah, something. <laughs> they stack these bets so crazy. Like, somebody is a millionaire literally oh, off of these sure. games right now. for sure. For sure. 100%. Because there's guys that have so much money off betting yes. that they'll just throw a 1000 on an underdog and big then time. get big payouts. Last year? Um, other than Tech, what was that other team that went pretty far out of uh, Detroit or somewhere? Where were they? Oh, you talking about the they had the the kid with the mustache, the white kid. He was cold. I pref- what was that? Super small school. Super like small their, school. Their, their their stadium had like a leak in the roof. Yeah, or something. I mean they came from like uh Doug. Doug was the kid's name. Oh. What was um, that school? I know you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Let yeah. me look it up. Look was, it, yeah. yeah, we'll look it up. I was rooting for them so much. Oh, dude, it's huge. Huge, because I love to see that. Yeah. These schools pretty much go under the radar. Yeah. And they're out here busting big tournament ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, what was uh who did who did what was the team that beat Purdue Weston? This year? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other Florida team, wasn't it? Uh they weren't even. Um, that might have been before I started watching. That weren't. They weren't even supposed to be in the tournament. Right. The FAU ended up beating them. They did. But they weren't even supposed to be in the tournament. It was like they lost their conference. They were second place in the conference. Okay. Uh, tournament. But the team that won the conference tournament uh, wasn't wasn't qualified to go because of like D two D one. Uh, they just had like transferred divisions. So they got in there off of a a second seed. A second seed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and then beats Purdue. You know what's crazy. My bracket from the get-go, right? I thought that I was going to do great. Within the first two days, I think the I think destroyed. It, I think it was like after the first day, it was like a point zero three percent of brackets were still good. You know who messed me up, Steak and Sauce family? The mother freaking Dukies. Now I hate Duke with a passion, but I really needed them to win out. Look what happened. Uh, Tennessee. Bullied them. Bullied them. And then look what happened to Tennessee the other night from them Florida boys. Well, Tennessee lost to uh lost their uh that their big man. I don't know his name. I don't know much about Tennessee's basketball, right. but watching them in the tournament, yeah. He had that flagrant foul that threw him out the game. Okay. Because he was doing what he did to Duke. What all of them were doing to Duke. They were beating Duke. Bullying. They, they were, they were actually like hitting them. They were. And I had Duke going pretty much all the way to Final Four. Mm-hmm. Um I had um, Arizona. Doing pretty good, right? So those two alone really, really hurt me bad. I think this is the first year they've seen the type of stats where people's brackets where they've been just completely destroyed. Trash. Uh, trash. trash. I mean, there's no way anybody, and somebody out there has predicted it because we have a small percentage, 
that still their brackets are still good. No, they're all gone. They're all gone. At, well, every At, official, every official bracket. There might be some dude out there with a paper. There's bracket. There's a dude in Wisconsin. Yeah, with his TV with anten- his yeah, antennas yeah. on it, and he scratched in his own bracket, yeah. and it's perfect. And you'll never know. Where are you at? Yeah, hit us up. He's in Wisconsin. I feel we'll, it. We'll we'll get you out there. Well, when yeah. you when it when it's over. Yes, we'll get your name out there. We'll you get your just name out hit there. Us you up first. On. Yes. Yeah, we'll fly you out. We'll fly you out. Derek's got it. No. <laughs> Uh, we're in we're in Wisconsin. He's in Wis. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? We might have to travel to him. He's got a cheese hat on right now. Oh his, God, the Green Bay cheese Green hat. Green Bay cheese hat. Yeah. His his bracket is perfect, like all the way down. Now, who do you guys have right now? Right now, FAU. You got to okay, Weston. Yeah, FAU. I mean, I mean, I've already determined that, like, since Carolina wasn't in, I'm right. just pulling for the underdog the whole way. The whole yeah. way. So me, that's pulling, what me and West are talking okay. about on Saturday. Yeah. So we're pulling for them the whole way. You got to. Got I mean, to. dude, those guys are playing great basketball. They're playing great basketball. They're playing and their they're hearts playing, out. Like, they're playing uh, this weekend, their first game. Who are they playing this weekend, Weston? FAU? Yeah. Uh, it was like a... It's not San Diego. It was like another small seed. Yeah, it's. I mean, all of them are. Yeah, like yeah, I said, right. three that have never even been in the. Well, it was like this. It's like a that side is like smaller than the other side, because the other side's playing. But Miami. that ain't even the best team they've played the tournament. No. And they're in the final four playing them. Right. So I mean. So we got Miami. No, it is San Diego. San Diego. San okay. Diego, so, so, yeah. FAU. Miami. Miami. And UConn. UConn. Mm, UConn's tough. Now UConn is hey. probably the best team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. UConn's <laughs> tough. They've been tough. And they've been – that's the one team that's been there before. Been there before many yeah. times. The women and men have been there. Yeah, the women are really good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Tech, Virginia shout Tech's out women for, team. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. Steak and sauce yes, podcast. Yes, that is huge. Shout out Virginia Tech's women's basketball. Shout out the Hokies. Yeah. They are doing phenomenal. Yeah, they got a game tonight, 8 p.m. Elite 8, right? They're down to the Yeah, they're the last game of the Elite 8. Okay. Or the, well, the la- I think they're actually the last scheduled game of the day. Support those Hokies. Got tonight. you. Got you. 8 p.m. Yes, they're doing great. That's huge. Did I'm, you see? Uh, you know, y'all know the girl from Iowa that can dunk. No, the the white girl that she's cold. Oh, strokes threes. Yeah, 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 yeah logo yeah, yeah. threes. Yeah, logo. Yes, she was the first. She broke a record last night. Forty-one point triple double in tournament. First person to ever do that. What? She had a 41-point triple-double. She had a 41-point With triple. the assist, she was responsible for like 60 of their points. Bro. One on person. Fire. One person. Can we pull a picture of her up? What's her name? Wait, who is it? Uh, the, she's on Iowa. Iowa, she scored 41. Just look up Iowa's women in basketball. She'll be the first person you see. I just want to get a look at that warlock, see what kind of thighs she's got on her. Because I don't know. She might be, you know. Lord. Might, she might be working with a little something. You never know. Her right there. That's her? Yep. 22? What's her name? Kaylin Clark. Kaylin Clark. Okay, sweetheart. We see you now. Shout look up to, uh shout out look to up Kaylin the Clark. uh Iowa game last night. And look, let's see, let's look at those stats. Yeah. Right there. 97. All right. Where's the stats at? Like Louisville? Yeah. Oh, she did her ear like this too. Like, look, what's up? There you go. Go to the Iowa tab. Where's it at? Kaylin Clark, 22. 39 minutes. 41 points, points 12 assists, 10, 10 rebounds. rebounds. That's incredible. That's nuts. She's a guard? Yeah, she's a point. Goodness gracious. That's insane. Yeah, she Look at the rest of the team's numbers. Yeah, the girl has 17. That's pretty good, 14. Yeah, and then it drops significantly. Yeah. That's nuts, bro. That's incredible. Three girls pretty much carried them to... Yeah. And one really one carry. Really, right. And they they have a way harder battle than Tech does. Right. For the rest of the tournament. They gotta play um South Carolina next game. Okay. And they're they're the other number one seed with Tech. Gotcha. Well, you think Kaylin Clark wears spandex up under her? <laughs> I'm not talking about her. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm not saying anything. Dude, about what do you what do you what do you think? What do you think that, that thing you think when she's dribbling the ball, you think that thing's moving a little bit? <laughs> I'm not talking about her. <laughs> I'm not talking. She isn't Drake. She's going to hear this she, eventually. I, Kate, hey, you're doing your thing, sweetheart. Keep doing your thing. What else you got to say to her? What else I got to yeah. say to her? Go ahead and say it. You like cookout trays? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They have cookout. <laughs> they don't have cookout, no. 
You like corn? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know for a fact that thing is probably, you know, it's probably moving. You know? You think what you want to think? I, I need a date. You know what I'm saying? Like, holla at me, CC. <laughs> Hit the what? link tree. The, the link, link, hey, bio is up top in the description. Hit that link tree, subscribe, Shorty. We'll get you on here. You know, <laughs> that would be, now that would be oh, cool. Oh, that would be dope. Ask she her what it's like to be up. the best right. in women's wrestling. And then I'll go play her one on one outside on a little goal. Uh, yeah, we, yeah. What are y'all going to play? Huh? What are y'all gonna play? Uh, first one to raw. Uh, yeah. yeah, I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Yeah. When you find a little chick like that, you gotta keep her because she's got a lot of skill. You know <laughs> she's what I'm saying? Pay the bills. Pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy needs a new truck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. As soon what as I'm you come in the money, the Ranger ain't shit anymore. The Ranger, yeah. the Ranger. Yeah, so, listen, I'm gonna get one of them big dog military green. Turbo diesel dooleys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to roll coal everywhere I That's go. That's what you need. Yes, I do. You need a big dooley. I need a big dooley. Yeah. Yes. With your big sub in it. Sub in it with the with the uh force wheels with the spikes. Yeah, yeah, the big spikes. The, for the for the um um what are your John Dutton ranch hand on the front? Oh, oh my with the drop down yeah. um toe hitch and everything. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That'd be Derek. That's me all that day. would that would be you. Yeah. I want the electric steps when I when And I, I want one of the I want to install you one of those uh the cowboy hat holders you put on the roof. It's the metal bar and oh, it goes over yes. the top. And I put mine on because you like, know and I got you just it on. slide it up in there. Yes. In the in the holder. And I want a gun rack. In the sh- on the back window. I want a gun rack with a twelve gauge and uh, a repeater, like a thirty thirty. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. You would literally That would it, be the point. That's your you're living your best life. I'm living my best life at that point. Literally, I could pull up anywhere. And d- that same woman outside of Miller Mushroom is going to take that pizza. <laughs> oh, God. Doesn't matter where <laughs> she's at. She can hear that diesel coming down the street. Pizza. Right on it. I think her, I think her box cooked the pizza. <laughs> That's how hot it was. Burnt the crust? Burnt the crust. Good she had, God. She had a deep dish. Mm. Yes. Now... Y'all know about football, so I had to ask y'all about this. Look at Wes. <laughs> y'all know about football, but y'all don't know as much as I do, right? So Lamar Jackson, right, announced that he wants to trade. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel about that? Well, he announced do that it. like earlier this month. Yeah, but, or he said he wanted one earlier this month. Right. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, I mean, if it's they're gotten... not paying you the money you deserve, leave. Yeah. Go, simple as that. You're not tied to a team. Like it used to be back in the day. Like you don't have. Was, yeah. I feel like there's more, lo- not loyalty, that's the wrong word. No, but I, I think feel it, like they tried to build dynasties back yeah. in the day. You know, way. one guy, he, he found Troy a team. Troy Aikman wasn't going nowhere. He, he loved that place. Right. You don't have any connection <laughs> to <laughs> Baltimore Ravens. Leave, man. <laughs> They're not paying you. They're not paying you. Why don't they let him go? It's not going to work. Even like, you know, he's already burnt out on y'all. Right. It's, it's over. Yeah. It's like you're trying to keep this girl. <laughs> Let it go, bro. Bro, you can't buy her any more things. No, no. You've already. And when you do buy her what she's really been asking for, yes. she still has this hatred for you. Still got a hate. And, and you've done ate that box three ways from Sunday. Yeah, like, bro, you got it. He needs to get out of there. You got to get out of there. You go get, go get, get your there. money somewhere else. Get you your money He's a great else. quarterback. He's amazing. Yeah. He's amazing. He's intelligent. I like him. I like him. I like the way he plays. He reminds me of like Vic. Vic, yeah, yeah. I mean, and that type of play, and he's right. really good. He puts up numbers. He's an MVP talk. He hasn't won anything super big. Right. But, you know, that's Where, not. My bad. No, good. Where would you like to see him at? <clears throat> right now, I don't um, really know. You don't, because the teams I, are so weird honestly, right now. Honestly, I've been like watching like the rebuilds and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I think Detroit's got a pretty good line getting ready I like to come Detroit, up. Yeah. yeah, okay. I think I, if, I, I've always liked Detroit. Detroit's yeah. cold. They they last year when they knocked the, the Green Bay out, they weren't even going. They just wanted to win. They just wanted to win. Yeah, that's right. drive. Yeah, I think I think Shout if you out guys to my there, little shawty in Detroit, by the way, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nobody out there. Uh, but yeah, no. I, but everything's kind of weird right now. Yeah, you got to see where yeah. everybody's landing. You know, it's still in the middle. Right. The off season, they got a lot of people going here and there. What do you, uh, you know? Where do y'all think Emmett Smith's gonna go next? (laughs) 
Go ahead and unsubscribe, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And everybody you click see, the right top corner right, report. No, he, he told me he told me that he reports our show every day, every even day. though he's on it. Every day. He said he reports it every day, even though he's a he is a host on this show and he reports our show, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta make haters. Gotta make haters. Gotta yes. make haters. I think he goes in as other people and writes some of those Bad comments. reviews. Yes. Bad reviews. Yeah. Yes. Is yes. like that what that little flag is in the studio? It's him uh, reporting it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He goes on there and he reports it and he then he shows up. And he's like, hey, guys, hey, what's, what's up, up, man? What's let's, up, man? let's shoot a show. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Whole time, flag, flag. I'm fake. Do we actually have those? Do no, we? I was, I was, I was going to say, God. He <laughs> yeah. really is doing it. Yeah, I might be. <laughs> if, <laughs> to be honest. No, I believed him like, no, for like two kidding. seconds. If you could kidding. see like, if someone's reported us, yeah. to yeah. be honest, <laughs> it would have to be me. It would, would have to be. It would have to be you. You've talked about it for months. Yeah, it'd have to be. Right? There's no way it could be my else. No. How could you report this podcast? How, yeah, we what, don't what? talk about anything that hurts anybody's feelings. No, we talk about everything that everybody does. This is great. This yeah, is I'm great. not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at the YouTube studio, the last podcast we put out, but the Basement Boys yes. had one dislike. It broke my heart. Really? It had one dislike. One dislike? Yep. You think it was an accident? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like cheeseburger fingers, like tried to hit the like button. It was some <laughs> piece of shit in his mom's basement. It's probably one of them guys you pissed off about. It was uh, talking uh, about uh, Rip. Rip. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. It was one of the guys where I talked about Rip being, you know. Do we have any dislikes on the other videos? No. Not uh, there's, a co- there's a few of them that have like maybe one or two, but most of them are usually 100% likes. Yeah. <laughs> so for you haters, and I'm going to find out who y'all are. <laughs> I pro- Listen, I'm not making any threats. I promise you, if I can find out a way in the backlog of the analytics that one of you fuckers is going in there and putting a dislike, and I know you, and you're in this area – Count your damn days. <laughs> Count your damn days until I get to you. Because when it happens, it's on. Game over. I, I'm green lighting you right now. When I find out who put a dislike on there, you better be ready to throw them hands. And you better be able to do it good. Okay? Because I'm telling you, I'm coming. There's no reason for that. There's haters. But you know what? No, I'm joking. I don't care if we had dislikes. You want to know why? You should. Be- because. It makes you eat. Right. It makes you go harder. And... Yeah. People are going to do that just because you're doing something they cannot do. Mm-hmm. Let me tell y'all something out there. Don't ever, ever, ever in life, I don't care if it's a family member, a significant other, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, make you feel like your dreams or your aspirations or what you want to do is small or that you can't do it or that you cannot obtain this level that you want to get to. If they don't believe in your vision, Kick their ass to the side or don't even fool with it. You need people on your team that is going to give you constructive criticism, that's going to tell you what direction you need to go, and they want to see you win as a group. Stop worrying about the people that don't fuck with you and hold on to the people that do. Because I'm telling you, at the end of the ride, that's all the people that are going to be there. Mm -hmm. You know how many people tell me you're not funny? To you? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And your sense of humor is shit. Yeah. So I don't think I would be funny to you. But clearly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Clearly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come to one of my shows. He funny because he fat. He funny because he fat. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, you can't be worried about people. I've had people say things that are so heartfelt about this show that I can't even. I'd love to pull them up and share them, but for mm-hmm. their for their protection and I don't think they want to yeah. broadcast. And that's that that makes like it's crazy when you send those yes. that people tell you. Yes, I send them all the time when I got them. People write books about the impact our show and what we do has on their lives or something that they like. I've had buddies that are retiring out of the army right now all the way in Hawaii yeah. that watch our show and they're like, "Dude, we're so proud of you." Yeah. Like you've been telling us stories for years like Dude, you were telling us stories in Afghanistan. You were keeping us entertained. You never know when you're going to have a breakthrough. I'm happy at the fact that we came together and we started out in the beginning and we didn't really know what direction we wanted to go, but we knew we had the talent to do it. Yeah. Look where we're at now. We're pushing near our 30th episode. We're pushing near one year of this, you know, the anniversary for this show. Mm -hmm. And we are continuously growing. And I know we're only going to continue to do more. 
And with big things coming. Big things coming. Yeah. A lot of changes coming. And to let you guys know, we've all put our heads together. We got merch coming. All right? We have some incredible merch that we're working on. And I, and I know it's taking a little bit of time, but we want it to be right. We thought of the design. We thought of the concepts. We thought of everything that we wanted. And we've changed a little bit. This isn't going to be the forever logo. You know what I'm saying? This is what we started with. But now that we've grown a little bit, we want to advertise the way that the show is, mm -hmm. right? Um, we've got other guests coming on. We've got more show ideas. We are building the studio. We wanted to keep that kind of on the back, <laughs> yeah. uh, back end from you guys. But we have big changes coming up soon. We really, really think you guys are going to like it. And new social. We got a, we yes. got new social. We got Twitter. We got we Twitter. Just made a Twitter. We're account. on Twitter now. Go you know, check that out. Sauce yeah. on Twitter. Go check that out. Yeah. We're I'm trying to get on and with uh, your guys' help, I think we've got a hand on all social media platforms. Every, every, pretty much. All, yeah. Yeah, pretty yeah. all major all social media. Ones, yeah. Yeah. All social media is covered. All the um, same name. Steak all the same name, Steak and Sauce. So it's Derek Nallen. Derek Nallen. All those are linked yeah. somehow. Yeah. The Weston has done our our um our bios or everything's linked together. Mm -hmm. Those have been posted everywhere. We appreciate everyone's support. We appreciate everyone who really gets something from this podcast. I have an idea that we could do. Uh, we could find out. I know one of them already. One of the first two people that have subbed to this show and watch it religiously. One is my stepmom. Shout out to Valerie. She watches every episode in her living room. And we're going to find out the other person. And I would love to have them on. Yeah, that'd be huge. Right? And I well, think. You know, you know, Mr. Beast. Yes. Uh his um his one of his main crew members was his first sub. Really? That's amazing. And he's with them every day. Right. I think another one may either be a friend of mine that followed me cuz he came to one of my comedy shows mm. or it may be Valerie's niece. Mm. And Valerie's niece asked me for my autograph. She's like because I'm getting it now. She was like because I'm getting it before anybody else has it. Yeah. And they made a edited video of me sitting in this seat, telling a joke. It's amazing. Her and her brother. Mm -hmm. And I that might be the second subscriber. I'd love to have both of them on here and just do an appreciation. Comment down. You know what I'm if saying? You were it. Comment when this goes live. Comment what what place or what subscriber you were to this channel, so we can kind of figure this out. We're giving top five thousand dollars. <laughs> he, he said that. I ain't in this. <laughs> blur that out. Blur that. <laughs> cut that. Cut that. <laughs> but no, we have some amazing stuff coming up, and yeah, huge. huge, huge. We've been working hard. We've been grinding. Any time that you start to hit a little bit of um, resistance, any time that you hit a little of uh, some row bumps, you know you're going the right way. You got to push through that. Mm -hmm. You got to keep pushing through that. There are things that have been stacked in front of me that you guys don't even know about. Yeah. And we're still, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. I just really, really want to encourage people to continue to live out their dreams because don't ever, ever, ever allow someone to really put you in a box. There are people out here right now in their 50s and 60s that have not done what they wanted to do because they are f fearful of their dad's reaction, their family's yeah, reaction, yeah. or something like that. We got one chance at this. I'm not saying go out here and and try to jump the Grand make, Canyon. Yeah, but make but an educated decision. Make an educated decision. And do what you want to do. And do what you want to do because at the end of all this, you don't want to sit back and be like, man, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done this. And, you know, this is organic. I don't get on here and say the things that I say just because. I say this of the stuff. the show, yeah. We, I, this I say is, this stuff regularly. This is normal. This is normal This is what me. we were talking at Sharky's on yeah. Saturday. Yes. This is we literally had this show. The same. Sh we had this show. Yeah. yeah Every day. Weston's like this off camera, right? If you say something, he's going to be like, gee whiz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't uh, say that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> gee whiz. I, gee whiz. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, don't say that. That. I don't say that. I don't say that. I took his swag away. Yeah. <laughs> I took his swag What's away that a little one, bit. Uh, oh, my lucky stars. Oh, my lucky stars, yeah. <laughs> so I took his swag away a little bit. You're going to be like, dude, chill. Yeah, yeah. But pause. Pause. I, shout out to Chaz. Yeah. I think that that's what brings this dynamic 
in the way that it is. And I know that people watch this from the from the from the messages we've gotten, we are really having an impact. And it's huge. It's huge. We really appreciate that. We stuff. really appreciate yeah. that. Those are the things that I will forever remember, regardless of what happens, mm-hmm. is those personal messages that I've received that somebody has watched this show and what it's been able to do for them. Or they or they had a rough day at work. They come home with a damn McDouble. Yeah. You know? And they just sit down and watch it. And they just sit down and watch. It's huge. And you know what I like? I know we're nowhere near as big as some of the people I've met right. like that I've looked up to. But when I go up to them and talk to them, yeah. I've always wondered what it makes them feel like to have like a fan come up to them. Right. But when I've had like the few people come up to me and say they love it. How do you and, feel? Bro, it makes you feel like a different person. You're a different person. We are regular yeah. dudes. Yeah. Because right? we, I mean, we ain't doing nothing crazy. We're regular dudes. Yeah. And how does it, my buddy came up to you. Yeah. At a comedy show, show. At a comedy show that I, I was I think I had a guy at. come at another show. Yeah. And just out of the blue. My buddy asked me, hey, is that Preston? Yeah. And I was like, tap him. Yeah. And Preston turns around. He's like, bro, I want, you know? Yeah. Totally geek that he got to see you. Yeah. And that's like, it just makes you feel so great. It makes you feel great because yeah. they are identifying with you on this show, yeah. your personality. Yeah. I think it's cool that when we do this uh, one year anniversary party that we're planning, people are going to get to meet and greet Weston. And it's going to be oh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, they know him, they've seen him. Yeah. But not like that. No. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's going to be really cool. And like we've talked about, there's people that might only like when we mic up Weston. They like to hear him. Yes. He's got fans. He's got fans. They like when we say, look at Weston. Look at Weston. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and they like it when we say, look at Weston, but they can't see him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they know he's right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to go do my one video that I'm on, and I'm going to blur my face through the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so yeah. no one knows what I look Nobody like. Nobody knows what he looks like, right? You know? We'll keep him like a, uh, yeah. like anonymous. We're, he's like one of those members where it's like, um, so you... Um, you do a lot of uh, scamming. Well, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the deep voice. Yeah, his voice will be all deep. He'll have like it's those drug the drug documentaries yes. where they go yes. hang out with yeah. the uh, cartel members. Yes. Yeah, is that not the scariest voice in the world? Right. <laughs> it's, 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 like if you heard that at three a.m., I'm loading. I'm loading, bro. Another thing, the hold music for the VA. VA. Drake, get on this podcast so we can get you that music. Drake. The hold music that the VA plays. And that commercial. And that commercial. The random Super Bowl commercial. Doom, 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 doom. It's so good. Drake has got your name all over it. Why you haven't grabbed that beat yet, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. I literally see Drake with like Formula One driver gloves on with a long peacoat like dancing on a cobblestone <laughs> street in Paris. <laughs> That's what I see. I don't know if you're going that way or not, but that's what I got in my he head. He could def- definitely drop like some crazy stuff on that. Drop some, bro. Yeah, for sure. I that's- mean, if you're reading This Is Too Late, should have been an album. Yeah. It wasn't, but you could recreate that. Um, instead of if you're reading this, this Is Too Late, the next album will be Don't Worry, You Still Got Time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The neck, the, the follow, the continuance of that. Is don't worry, you still got time. And then he drops the doom, 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 doom. Dude, oh, oh my god. Call him right now. Dude, let me call him. I got his number. I got his number. <laughs> I can hit him up, you know. Yeah. I'm giving you this for free. We need we need to get that that beat downloaded. We do. We gotta have it. We gotta have it. You know the beat we're talking about, Weston? Mm-hmm. What right. is it? What is it? Awesome? So the VA. So the VA hold music. The veterans. Right? Hold. veterans. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um Medical, what you call Salem, the VA, uh, or any VA connected line. Yeah. What was that uh, Super Bowl commercial Bro, called? We haven't been able to figure it out. We haven't been able to figure it out, but it is. No, because we were sitting there with everybody watching the Super Bowl. We were. And this beat comes on, and, and me and Derek look at each other, and we're like, what? what? And then DJ's like, Yeah, he's like, How do you know? He yeah, asked he, you, yeah, he was like, How do you, do you know, know that? what that beat is? Yes. Now, there was a yeah. guy on TikTok who. Was and then yeah, he said it. Yeah, he had the beat and he was doing each part, like each chord or each yeah. instrument. So he was like, dun, 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 dun. yeah, and you sent it to me, and I yeah, sent it to you, yeah. and then he vibed out and everything. He was just rocking. That is the coldest. It shouldn't beat. be a whole music. No, no, that should be on an album. Don't worry, there's still time. There's still time.
let me ask y'all this. Steak and Sauce family, if Drake dropped an album and it was called Don't Worry, There's Still Time, how fire is that title? Excellent. 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 I just I just pulled But you got to call us to use it. You got to. Hey, gotta I said it. it. Don't worry. There's still time. Now, is he talking about there's still time to mend things, fix things? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drake, Drake leaves a lot of open-ended. He does. He does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, real Drake fans, they know. Mm -hmm. So, don't mm -hmm. worry. There's still time. We're going to keep plugging that until it becomes a thing. Oh, for sure. Hashtag, don't worry. There's still time. Now, I believe, and we can look this up, Little Dirk posted a tweet about Drake, and it said, it's not too late, right? In reference to that album, maybe they got something cooking up they're going to do. They That'd haven't cool. done. That'd be cool. Right. So fans are really kind of trying to, uh, what is it called? Not decipher, but interpret. Figure it out. Figure out what Little Dirk was saying by, uh, it's not too late. Laughy face. Yeah. I'm not piggybacking off of him. You know, don't worry, there's still time. Yeah. That's a whole different time. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know, just letting you know. We'll be look but speaking of time, what we looking like on time? Uh about hour twenty five. Okay, so we're in a good part. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what have we what? been talking about? <laughs> what have we been? I've made it nowhere today. Right. <laughs> I've just been an hour twenty five talking we, about Mercury. Mercury. We ate a few McDouble. You know what I'm saying? Goodness great. I mean, it, it flew by. That's, it flew that's by. That's insane. It's insane. But I really mean this from the heart. Everybody who's watching this, I want this to be a special segment in this show. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We are creating something, like I said, that's going to stand the test of time. Uh, we, Like I said, we got a lot of things coming out. We're involved with a lot of things, and we cannot do this without your guys' support. So please don't ever feel that we're not in tune. We try to respond to all of the messages that we get. Um, we try to give um, opportunities to let you guys come on the show if you want to. When you the, see us the, out, yeah. we're, we're the same people. Come say something. Come say yeah, something, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and get us on the show. If you're not a fan of the show, that's okay. That's okay. I'm not stressing it. No, I'm not stressing it. And there's plenty of people that are. And I know we have something that is unique. You guys would not be on board right now if y'all did not feel that we had something unique. Way too far in. Way too far in. You heard way too much. What's that? Oh, Drake's album, Too Far Gone. Yeah, you're not. You, you'd be right. done. Yeah, right. yeah. You yeah. might watch five. You don't really like it. Yeah. Nah, we're good. No, we really appreciate you guys. We want you to continue to support us. We got a lot of things coming up where we can interact with you guys a little bit better. Um, so I just appreciate it and – Sometimes we can get down on ourselves because we got a million things going on. Weston's got a million things going on. You've got a million things going on. So do I. But we make time. We put this thing together. And, fellas, we're almost at 30. Mm -hmm. That's huge. 30 episodes. If you start watching right now, you've got a couple weekends worth of material oh, yeah. to get you through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now. But go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is the baddest podcast in the land, Steak and Sauce Podcast. This has been episode 29. We're going to be back. We got more things to come. Preston, you got anything to say before we sign out? When I sat in this chair today. Oh, dialing in. Listen. I sat down in this chair. Tony, I listen. came in with some shorts on. You came in with shorts on. I had to put jeans on. You had to put jeans on. Because it grew to my knee. When you sat in Tonio's chair, what happened? It, it, it's something magic. Something magic. Something magic. The beanstalk. The bean You stalk. planted it. Yep. yep. And it grew plastic clouds. Yep. And we just, you know what I'm saying? I know it lays on the chest now. You know, it. who's that on your shirt? Uh, Kyle. Kyle. It's all the way over. All the way over his face. Tonio, <laughs> we know why you sit over there now. We understand. We got it. Derek's Last coming week. over here when we're done. I'm sitting over there next week. Yeah, yeah. Just know that. Wes, you got anything you want to say? Nah, I'm good. Okay. Hey, until the next time we see y'all, y'all be blessed.